get out of him! Gordon is on his way, sir. We'll have to hold Bane off until he arrives, sir. Was the night before oh, Christmas, Christmas in all the back, the back in it, and the creature was stirring, not even a... Very well, a bat was stirring, but a few more blows to the head, and it won't be any more. <laughs> when I'm done with you, I'll be coming for you, payaso loco. <laughs> Actually, no, it wasn't. Rooftop's getting too hot. Deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> 
Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. Take him down! Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate. You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're going to do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You of all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy, biting little thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes, screaming through your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona to rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own emptiness. Okay. I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds... delightful. <laughs> okay. One more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil, predetermined not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight, it's all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> yes. Now I realize that all the bad ones, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So much fate. <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. How does that make you feel? I feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. 
You wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand? You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling! And I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Holleen. Holleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Honey? Oh, ha. Uh... I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Holly, you got one now. It might be a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. Dispatch, this is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. It's the story back at the precinct. Place is evac. Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. Oh? But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do. So I take it you won't be testing it, then? It's called field testing, Alfred. Any luck digging up dirt on Enigma? I'm afraid not. He's very good, sir. Too good, perhaps. Don't sell yourself short, Alfred. I'm only being realistic. Listen, disable more of his towers and I can locate him. Then we won't have to search for information. He'll give it to you himself. I'm on it.
<coughs> Master Bruce, stop! Master Bruce, what are you? I will not, in good conscience, allow you to go. You're outmatched by these assassins. I'm what? You're not some hardened vigilante. You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head, and I, I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. Be. No, not what? may be. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. Tonight will not be my end, but it will be theirs. I trust you realize you can't just waltz into the GCPD after everything that's happened there tonight. I know I can't do that. I'll have to find a way in that'll avoid detection. Indeed. Now look, I'm sorry about what I said before you left. I hope you understand. It's just because... It's okay. I understand. How much longer we gotta wait for these guys, huh? It's freezing. They'll be here soon. Probably just held up. And Gotham's a bit of a mess tonight, in case you hadn't noticed. That's my point. For all we know, one of the assassins took them out. Or the bat. And if they don't show, what are we supposed to do with all this crap, huh? You can't exactly drag that canister back to the lab.
extension available units. We've got a call of a violent crime. Still waiting on location. It's over, Batman. I put everything I've got into this one. Uh, throw yourself at it for a while if you must. You're not crying it. Not a chance.
match for my vastly superior intellect, as you'll soon discover. Keep it up, Batman, and you're going to be very, very sorry. think so. What's wrong with you? It's not like I'm backing the bad guys here. Well, not usually. You're invading people's privacy. You got how many assassins running around out there, and you're lecturing me on selling personal information? Way to prioritize. You're going after Gotham Optics next? Or maybe some telemarketers? Ooh. If that information gets into the wrong hands, people could get hurt because of you. And people do get hurt because of you. So, I assume you'll be handing yourself over to the police now? <laughs> That's what I thought. Board is lit up. If you don't have an assignment, please report in. Uh. Can't run anymore up. <laughs> Who's that getting his face punched? <laughs> Can't take us all out.
Trouble! Just waiting for the... Don't look down!